there's this random ass animator on YouTube called James. No, not James Charles, just James. And there's been a lot of drama about him lately. Because apparently he molested his nine-year-old sister. That I'm... I'm... I don't even know why I'm surprised at this point. This is for some reason a very common theme with big creators on YouTube. You just watch them and they seem like a cool guy and out of nowhere they're like accused of, what, grooming children or some shit. But instead of sending little children pictures of your one millimeter Peter, instead this guy decided to take it to a whole new fucking level. Like if he went to some secret final boss in Yokai Watch or some shit. I'm gonna say it again because James molested his nine year old sister when he was 13 and that is probably the most insane fucking news I've heard in a long ass time. You know how people say next year's gonna be the best year ever and then shit like this happens? Well, that pretty much proves that that was a fucking lie. Alright, I'm gonna show you the image now. Sorry that I took long, but uh, here you go. You just pause the video and read it yourself, and if you're too lazy, I'll read it to you since I'm the exact same way. It says, it all began in February 2013, where I began to get a little friend called depression. I didn't know at the time. And I did something horrible. I had sex with my little sister. God damn Which, it. at the time, I was 13 and she was 9. F-bomb. If it makes you feel any better, I'm suffering emotionally. And I did it because of depression. Someone told me that depression can't make you do things, and we've been doing it till, I'm gonna say it, till between 2015 and 16. I... I'm done. I'm so done. <sighs> okay. And I know it's still affecting me. In 2014, I got beat up outside in the cold winter night, and I got sick. Can't say I didn't deserve that. Sick fuck. I got sick again. But while I was sick, I cried myself to sleep, and I began to lose friends, and my depression kept getting to me. My dad abused me, all that shit. And so, January 23, 2016, I began to feel like crap. And I nearly took my own life, but I didn't. I went to sleep. My friend Alex got worried and phoned the RCMP and they took me to the hospital and they were checking on me to see if I'm okay but I was so yeah I got sick again but I felt but if but I'm okay so yeah that's what happened but don't tell anyone by the way yeah suicide is a very bad thing no one should do it but that doesn't mean you have to fuck your own blood related sister every time I talk about this kind of shit I just I lose a fuck ton of brain cells I uh, goodbye I'm, I'm, I'm done bye